Team news for both teams. We'll start with Hull City and there's one change. Alfie Jones replaces Sean McLaughlin, a more common right-footed defender coming into the back four rather than having Sean McLaughlin on his left foot on the wrong side of the two in the centre. And that is the only change to the starting eleven. So it's Darlow in goal, Coyle, Jones, Greaves, Elder, Seri, Slater, Simon Esch, Vaughan, Tupan and Traore. Will this be the final game that Carl Darlow plays at the MKM Stadium? Or will he be back next season? Time will tell. The bench is Matt Ingram, Greg Doherty, Malcolm Abue is in the same position as Carl Darlow. Also, Timmy Pelkas, Ryan Woods, Sean McLaughlin and Xavier Simons. Up towards the corner flag, infield to Kundal, who's going to play it back to Encham. Now for Matt Grimes, little one-two between the pair and back down the left again. Manning with Perotoema in the area and it will be a powerful cross into the penalty area which has Darlow scampering towards his goal line but it's a simple catch with both hands. And now he is going to play the part of slowing everything down as he will play it out to Seri. Four men pressing for Swansea, but Jones back in the team. Spots Traore advancing up to halfway. In the pink boots will play it infield to Tufan. Could have let it run for Slater. Instead returns it back to Seri. Floats it over to Harry Vaughan. The back four of Swansea stay compact. It allows Vaughan into the area. Tries to play it in for Tufan! Three minutes gone and Ozan Tufan has yet another to add to his collection. A fortnight ago, he targeted double figures when he was on seven goals with three games at the time. He needed three goals and he's got two in two. Ozan Tufan, same end as last weekend, makes it Hull City 1, Swansea 0. Wow, what a start for Hull City and how well did they play it from back to front Elder down the line towards Harry Vaughan he's got Lati Boudier all over him but it's well played and he might get onto this ball that's been placed over the top by Callum Elder Swansea's back line was very advanced back is Wood Fisher then Vaughan still not giving up on that ball as he arcs right into the penalty area Fisher to clear over the uh, bootlaces of Lati Boudier and Greaves takes the ball away from the toes of Joel Perot. Seri to Tufa. And now with Traore, edge of the area, fancies a chance, took a little deflection, which causes Fisher just to pat the ball in front of him. But Hull City look confident, look composed when they're in possession. Swansea might be having more. But Hull City look like they've got more goals in them. Wide it goes to Ryan Manning, heavily involved in the first ten minutes. Just seemingly less so as he tried to angle the ball towards the penalty area for Perot to chase to. The loose ball though is picked up by Grimes. Grimes across to his midfield partner in Incham. Now wide and down the line, this time towards Patterson. Ball lifted into the area where Lati Boudier is waiting underneath it. And he heads over the top of the bar from six yards out. He'll be disappointed that he hasn't gone closer with that opportunity. The former Manchester City youngster. And Chan will play wide towards Manning once again and Cham bringing the ball at a tiptoe pace away from Tufan and Vaughan plays it wide towards Manning Manning again faking the cross through to Patterson neat play neat goal from Swansea and the goal scorer is Luke Kundal taking the plaudits from Encham and that is what passing can produce and it was some neat footwork on the edge of the area. And Luke Kundal, who got his last goal against Hull City, follows up with a pair. And Swansea City are back level six and a half minutes before half time. They worked it well. Hull City, though, will be disappointed that they haven't kept Swansea 
at arm's length in this first half. They have to refine their lead, having been pegged back. Simonesh gets onto a ball played diagonally from the right side with the aid of Ryan Manning. Traore infield towards Slater, then Coyle. Neat passage of play. Traore just feels a little bit of a grab on his arms and he takes the bait, goes down. It's a free kick. And uh, Traore is uh, not happy. They just shoved Jamie Patterson, who is walking away from the referee, Jeff Eltringham. And Jeff Eltringham has actually dished out a yellow card. So words as he made his way past, Traore unhappy. And Tufan and him are over this free kick. And it's Tufan! Oh, he's clipped the netting the wrong side. And the East Stand thought that they had found the back of the net. And actually, there's a couple of blocks of supporters who are actually still cheering. They were so convinced that they'd gone into the back of the net. They've uh, only just got the memo now that Tufan has hit the wrong side. What can they make of this opportunity that's been bestowed to them? Coyle to Traore on the corner flag will pass it back to the captain. It goes behind him, so he has to... Retreat back towards Alfie Jones, who spots Traore in between defenders. Neat play from Jones. Slater now to Coyle. Neat ball through the triangles between Coyle, Traore and Slater, who drives at goal, but he's just pulled it away from the left-hand side and it lost power as it travelled closer and closer towards goal and then travelled further and further away past the far post. Burnley have retaken the lead at Ashton Gate. They lead by two goals to one as Lati Boudier finds Cabango. Cabango moving the ball across towards Wood, then Grimes, Matt Grimes, on his 250th career game for Swansea. The way Swansea moved the ball about, you can understand why so many of them have such high passing percentages this season, as, and Cham brings the ball forward, sucks a couple of players in in black and amber shirts, and then a delivery into the area from Manning. Well headed towards goal, Darlow though diving across to his right side for a comfortable catch. The goals have been a little fewer than previous encounters between these two in this fixture, but still time. 2-0 victory for Shota Arvalazzi in his first game in charge and then the 3-0 defeat was his last as Traore will bring it towards Saibanesh and oh Tufan rattles the crossbar from the edge of the area Hull City win it back though and Coyle can find Tufan again he spots Saibanesh there's a man over on the left Saibanesh though takes it on Harry Vaughan was in the area all alone but that is the chance to awaken the attacking senses of Hull City. Two fans smacking the crossbar from 20 yards. Adama Traore with perfect crossing opportunity. And there's seven in white shirts waiting outside the penalty area to mark up, but Hull City are in the box with Doherty. Big save from Fisher, but the flag's up anyway. So it wouldn't have counted. Greg Doherty thought he had a moment to celebrate and score a goal in front of a Hull City crowd for the first time. He has scored goals on this ground, but during that lockdown season, and he scored a couple of beauties as well. Swansea, as things stand, will be playing against the Tigers again in the Championship. And that is now confirmed, because Jeff Eltringham blows his whistle and the curtain comes down on the home part of the season Hull City have drawn today one goal apiece they had the lead early through a Ben Cabango own goal Harry Vaughan with the cross which was a really bright moment for the Tigers and then Swansea in their passing style this time in comparison to when Shotter Avalanzi was here Instead of them dawdling and just passing it around the back, they had a bit more urgency to get forward. 
and they found a goal through Lund, Wolves Loney, Luke Kundal and it finishes Hull City 1, Swansea City 1.